And for those of you who may be just listening or tuning in today, uh, I'm Andrea Quattrini. I'm a PhD student at Temple University. And Brendan Rourke so is out here moving. too. And he is currently uh, taking a lunch break um, right now. He should be back very shortly. And we have several scientists uh, that are on the phone, phone with us today and we're talking directly to back on shore as well, well as several scientists who are logged in um, to the chat room. Um, so we're instant messaging as well as talking with scientists back on shore. We have Tim Shank and Taylor Heil at HUI, Woodhull Oceanographic Institution, Scott France at the University of Louisiana Lafayette on the phone, Amanda Demopoulos from USGS is on the phone. We have NOAA Lab um, in Charleston, South Carolina with A.J. Turner. And on the phone, and then we have several other people um, logged in. Oh, Brian Kinlan is on the phone, I believe, still from NOAA. And we have Cindy Van Dover from Duke University and Michael Vecchione also logged into the chat room today. I hope I got everybody. And all of the pilots and engineers, yes, and videographers that are making all of this happen. Thanks, Roland. Uh, Jeff, my sonar is frozen. We're still just getting resituated here. Just thaw it out a little bit. So it looks like you're starting to move. So we'll head back. Did we get an image of that yellow coral? Can we, before we head back, there's a yellow coral on the left below the anthomastus. Have we imaged that yet? Yes, I think that's the acanthagorgia we imaged. Oh, okay. We okay. imaged another colony of it. Okay. Right. That's okay. We can keep moving. Sorry, that's I think okay. we did that while I was, I had stepped out. Pilot, can we grab this fish? Antimora. Go ahead, Bridge. Thank you. Uh, no video. Let's just stay wide. Copy. The pilots, the ship is coming to a stop. Okay. Thanks, Tony. So, Andrew, are you uh, planning a, a ship move here shortly? To move to waypoint two, we're just move the ship now just to uh, get better position along this wall. Okay. Oh, look at the pink. Did we image that pink sea star? No, we didn't. Can we get a zoom in on that pink sea star? Pink sea star oh, up above, yep. And then we'll get back to that Tina four. I think there may be a dead crab but the, just below that. Uh, the Nick crevice below the uh, sea star. Mm -hmm. oh, that's I see. That is down there has a moon. Yep. So we'll image the sea star, move down, look at the crab, and Jared, then move back over to the Tina Four. Could be mating crabs. I can't really tell, but or it's dead. Thanks. That's great. Sure thing. It's about half. All right, video, let's start going partial. Anybody have an idea on this genus on this uh, echinoderm? Let's go all the way. <laughs> 